Pro Teaches Beginner has just taken a whole nother level. Me and this guy are gonna do some electric filing today. Greg, I'm a little nervous. Do I have anything to be nervous about? No, because you have the new Young Nails electric file. <laughs> what about my instructor? He's kinda eh. Bro. <laughs> it's not the tools that do damage, it's the fools that do damage. Go to town, remove shine. Like, remember I showed you how to tickle? Yeah, but I have all, there's all that. Don't worry about that right now, trust me. Okay. You'll notice how easy it comes oh up. Oh my God. See that? Oh my God. I know that's happening to you guys out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smiling. <laughs> I don't want you to go over this way. Okay. I knew that, bro. <laughs> you gotta turn it on. <laughs> really holding off on this Pro Teaches Beginner because um, I kind of knew that we were introducing a new e-file at some point. The result of that is this product, which is gonna make it easier for me. And as a beginner, that's attractive. Probably like most beginners, I may be a little nervous, nervous just because electric files can you know, it's it, now you're getting a machine in my hand, so I know I gotta be properly trained. That's the big thing. I need to learn how to do this. I have to. As a beginner, there's no option. Well, it's the me. most important tool in your arsenal. It's the most important tool in a nail technician's arsenal. Right. Period. Period. This machine protects your most important asset, which is your body. And if you know how to use it properly, you're going to protect your wrists from basically uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, right. you're going to protect your shoulders from improper, from like not sitting ergonomically correct, uh, you're going to protect your back, you're basically going to prolong your, your, career. Career. your career and that's exactly why right. this is super important um, and I will keep repeating this, it's not the tools that do damage, it's the fools that do damage. Truest statement ever, now uh, the only point I would argue Greg is the most important asset that I have is my hair. Will this protect my hair? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's a no. As, that's long, okay. uh, uh, as long as you don't get it caught in your electric <laughs> file. <laughs> I know that's happening as long as you guys out there. Yeah, yeah. Really <laughs> violent. <laughs> don't, don't get it caught in your do. Let's start with the basics. The first thing you're going to notice is this really incredible box, this flying saucer. <laughs> Don't ever do that again, ever, bro. Yeah. And you're going to have your handpiece and you're going to have your cradle. And right. there's a there's a cord right here which we're going to plug into. So, cool. first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug this into this. Okay. All right, so power it's going to go right in yep. the back. ACN. ACN. Flip the on switch there. Nice, okay. okay. So you That's have good to, to go. Yep, now you have to plug in your hat piece where it says motor. Right here, it says motor. I'm gonna plug this guy right there. Yeah. That's it. That's it. It's... Simple, simple, simple. Okay, so um, now that we've got that, let's just go through the couple of buttons. I mean, on, off, obviously forward, reverse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work in forward, forward, obviously. So the best part about this for all you lefties out there is you're gonna keep it in reverse. You don't have to constantly switch back and forth. Right. You can keep it in reverse. It will stay in reverse. Perfect. For my case, forward, forward, hand, foot. Don't worry about it. Um, where we don't actually have a foot pedal, so that you don't have to worry about. Um, this is the on button. Oh, it's a paw. I see that. Two dots is pause, is that right? Yeah, so is you, that one? you no, it's not on. You oh. can't turn it on because there's no bit, there's no bit. in the hand piece. I knew that, bro. <laughs> okay, so. so. You're gonna notice this, I'm gonna show you. You see the two yeah, arrows? Yeah, arrows. Just that means it's locked. Cool. It's locked. Cool. So lefty loosey, righty tighty. Cool, so. Lefty loosey, boom, that. all the way in. Yep, right there. that's the length of the shaft. And then all the way, you oh, see how the arrows match up to each other yep. again? Nice. That means it's tight. Sweet. 
That's okay. very easy. There, and then, you oh, so turn it on. Yes. The two dots, right? That's that, when you know it's on. Correct. You hit it, you see the little two dot, the like two lines right that's here. That's exactly right. And then that's how you adjust the speed. Right, You and the cool thing is that literally you can see exact RPMs, right? That is amazing. the most amazing thing about this electric file is that you can physically see how fast you're working. Yeah. And that is extremely important because when we're working with prep, uh, he's gonna be working at a certain speed. Uh, when we're removing gel polish, he's gonna be working at a certain speed. When we're cutting in smile lines, we're gonna we're be working, working at a certain, certain speed. speed. You know, you notice how small this. So tight, dude. Yeah. It, I, I love that about it. It's just a, not, it's such a beautiful looking unit, but the fact that it's a space saving is, is huge. It's huge. Love it. Let's get down to business. What's first? So prep. we're gonna focus on prep, which cool. is really important. Uh, you're not gonna be using that bit. You're gonna be using an arbor band. Okay. So we're gonna put that together. Okay. So I'll pop that in first. Yeah, you're, and you're only gonna be able to get it so far. That's okay. That's what, you see how yeah. he was only able to get it so far? Yeah, I can only get it in. Right actually, there, okay. Yeah. So go ahead and take this off. Oh my God, what's going on? Lefty Lucy. Oh. <laughs> Righty tidy. Uh, Righty tidy. There we go. And all the way. Lefty Lucy. Righty tidy. Um, here. Okay. All so, the way, no, or I want no, a little no, space, right? No. Tighten it. Tight. Tighten it. Tight. Okay. Okay. Now just take your handpiece, turn it upside down, and push it all the way in. Push it all the way in. There you go. But is, should it be that close to the? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay. You can't do anything with this. Can you take that bit off? Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to be basically show you the stem on this diamond bit is longer. Oh, I see. Than okay. the stem on this. Right. Right. You can see yeah. that's why this sticks out. Got it. Okay, let's move this off, off now. And so I'm ready to go. Give me your hand. Okay. So <laughs> wow, you can use. Ah, it's well, no, no. What we're going to work on as someone who has never done preparation. Correct. Okay. Well, I've well, done I've done a little, bit. Done a little bit. In previous um, episodes, but not on a person. It's yeah. always, I don't think so. It's always been on the on the practice hands. Okay, so you have a brand new arbor bit. Right. So I gotta, I gotta season it. You gotta season it. Right. Here's a hand file. What do I turn it up just, to? Just basically turn it up to 2,000 RPMs. Okay, so if I'm doing just, this. Just, yeah, just touch the edges. That's it, done. Done? That's it. That was easy. So what really sets this basically control unit aside from everything else is that it has a basically feedback circuit and what that means is the machine will continue to rotate it, the torque st tries to stay maintain its existing speed right why is that important because when you're working at low speeds it doesn't stop right. even when you're working at high speeds right it doesn't bog down right. when you're cutting its my lines or right what I really love about this machine is the prep feature. For every one of you guys out there who have never worked with an electric file, this has to be one of the most important features that will literally like say, I want this. Because when you prep, which is going to ensure that you're not gonna have, when you have good prep, right. you're not gonna have problems with lifting, right? Right. So as a beginner, 2,000 RPMs. Yeah. You can't even hear it. No, no, no. At, at, literally, at, yeah. at, it's at, so quiet. In prep, you cannot hear, it's so quiet. It's, okay. it's beautiful. So oh. over, the, yeah, so over. as you can see, Habib has an overgrip position and what this is going to allow him to do, it's going to allow him to pull my skin. You can use yeah. your finger to pull it away. Yeah. And then just like lightly tickle away the shine around the cuticle area. Okay, just very super light. Well, so remember, I want you to start around the cuticle oh, yeah. area, okay. tickle. So you're gonna know, you, get, you can get right up to the skin, right up to it. Look like that. Oh my God, go ahead, so go ahead. Just get in there and start tickling it away. But do you notice that the machine doesn't bog? Bro, it <laughs> on, I'm not even kidding you, bro. This is so, it's so soft. It it's, is, it is the most incredible feeling you will ever experience when it comes to prepping with an electric file. Now, now what I want you to do is just like, again, like go to town, remove shine. Like remember how I showed you how to tickle? Yeah. Good. Use start using zone two of your barrel. Yeah. Yep. And as you start to feather away the shine, good. Great. So you have a little bit of shine right, right there. here. I see it. I see it. Good. 
good. Bro, that is, I mean, <laughs> okay, it's incredible. It is incredible. I, I'm, uh, I mean, it's funny because I think this is the first time that Bees actually worked with it. Having the confidence to work with a machine that you can set at a speed and know it's not going to stop is absolutely incredible. Plus, like this 2000 RPMs for a beginner. For me, um, with the experience that I have, um, or somebody who is extremely experienced with the electric file, I would say three is the fastest you would go. So, like, obviously, you know, I just I just wiped it. So, it's, you know, little little just dehydrated the nail plate. He cleansed it with swipe. I cleanse the nail plate with swipe. Yeah, this and product. This is what he used to cleanse it with. And like, it's perfectly prepped all the way through. Okay, that's prep. That is easy. I honestly just from doing that one time, bro. I'm not kidding you. I feel like. I could prep all your nails like that. Correct. When it comes to the detailed prep, yeah. not just with full sets, I'm talking about everything. Right. Fills, back fills, everything. There's a certain speed that you can work at that you're right. gonna be comfortable with. Yeah, I wanna do some gel polish removal. Can we do some removal? Yeah, 100%. Okay. You, want, you wanna put some gel polish on my hands? Yeah, let me, let, we're gonna get some gel polish on his hands and then that way we can get through removal because I feel like this is probably one of the most common ways that people will use this. It's the biggest service out there. And as a beginner, that's probably the next thing I want to learn, bro, right away is gel polish. Sure, yeah. The whole idea is removing this with an e-file versus soaking. And um, what, I, what I've what i been seeing, you know, we just did a real-time video of uh, Tracy doing a full set and removing it. And literally by the time she was completely done with the set, which is 17 and a half minutes, the, the, we, we also did soaking the Stephanie was still soaking. So like, I'm like, I, I never wanna do that. I wanna learn this. This is what I wanna do. I wanna do this, this bro, this, 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 this. <laughs> we always gotta have a hip hop segment oh, in our Pro Teachers Beginner. Gotta bring it on, baby. <laughs> okay, so what? talk to me. What do I need to do here? Like, like So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you work with the uh, course bit. And the reason why I want you to work with the course bit is because I am so confident in me teaching you how to do this that uh, you're gonna be able to remove it with ease. Okay, so, and, and based, just based on the light touch that you showed me, yeah. I actually am confident, dude. I know I can do this. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, lefty Lucy, click, got it. Down there, all the way down, Yeah. right there. Yeah. Righty tighty, Done. good to go. What RPM do I need to set this at for removal? Okay, so, you know, as an experienced nail technician, I usually work between seven and 8,000 RPMs. Okay, but, I'm gonna start lower, right? Yeah, okay. for you, let's just start off at six. Okay, so I, I'm literally just putting it at six. Yep, yeah. fire it on. Cool, yeah. all right. Okay, so, so let me get... What I like to do over the top, I want you to get into an overgrip position. Oh, yeah, of course, that, of course. That so, way. so much more comfortable. Well, that way too. you can balance, yeah. right? So what I want you to do is like, when you're removing shine, I want you to just go towards yourself. Don't okay. go side to side. Always towards myself. Yeah, so just try to get through the center first. Okay, so just you get can, a feel. Well, what you want to be able to do is remove the color from the center. Okay. So for me, when I'm removing gel, I like to just kind of get through the middle, right through here first, and then that sets kind of a guide to feather away to match up the middle. Okay. So if you remove in one direction through the center, right. and remember, because you're working with a core safety bit, you don't need to put a lot of pressure. So you just tickle. Can I start? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go really light. Don't worry, just, just go, yeah. You're not doing anything. I know, I'm just taking it a little easy. How's that? It's okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, need to... I can feel he's nervous because he's holding onto my hand, like... <laughs> Kung Fu with grip, a, with, a, with a G.I. Joe Kung Fu death grip. <laughs> All right. Just relax. A little bit more. Okay, okay just relax. Gotcha. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one thing. Yeah, I'm going to hold me. the back of the hand piece. Okay. Okay, and so now I want you to file. Yep, and then keep going. Start to use the back oh, of the bit. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so again, the back. Put pressure a little bit, just a little. Keep going, tickle. So you know that feathering motion? I was, yeah, oh yeah. So use that feathering motion. I was, I was, te go ahead, feather. Yeah, keep going. Look at the back, you see? Now take a look. It's starting to, it's breaking You can breaking start to the see yep. the natural nail. It's starting to break the so color, so don't, I don't wanna touch that Don't anymore. touch that, start working from that point all the way out to the okay. middle. 
Good, keep going. Good, you see that? You yep, see that? Yep. Keep going. Use the bottom of the bit. Lightly touch. Keep very, going. very light. Okay, good. Okay, so let's just show everybody what you got. So as you can see, so you have to remember that we're working with um, we're working with a really soft product. There is no need yeah. to to be aggressive. Um, the bit is sharp. The teeth are sharp. The edges are not. You, you're not going to cut the skin. But what I want to prevent him from doing is putting a lot of pressure and then going through the top layer right. of my nail. Um, which again can happen if you don't understand how to work the bit. So right. I'm not working really, really fast. I have it at a very, very gentle speed. And honestly, I'm, if it was something that you're trying to teach a beginner, you don't even have to start off at 6,000 RPMs. I'm here to guide him so I can start off at that speed. But if you're not comfortable, then do 4,000 RPMs. The machine, can I, make, I wanna, can I show yeah, you? Yeah, watch yeah. this, watch. So we're gonna set this at four. 4,000? Yeah. Go ahead and pick up the electric file. Okay. Okay, we're at 4,000, right. okay? Now again, super beginner. So just start to tickle away the shine. So you see the center right here, how we already have natural now? Yeah. Okay, do me a favor and try to tickle away all that. All around. Yeah. You see at 4,000, it's not yeah. stopping. Yeah, no, it's still. Yeah, oh no, it, it has a lot of torque. Keep going all the way, as close to the skin. So that right there is done. Get that little piece. Don't 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 try don't to worry. get it. Oh, okay. Don't why? try. To, I'll show you why. Just, just get go it. around. Yep. Just try to get them done. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Good. But I have all. There's all that. Don't worry about that right now. Trust me. Okay. 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 I find that a lot of beginners, what they try to do. Yep. I used to be this. I used really to be. I used to be this guy who'd be like, I gotta get in. I gotta get all that area right there. Well, that's exactly what I think. Don't worry about that right now. What I want you to do is focus on trying to remove the majority of it, okay. and then all the stuff around the edges will come back and do the detail work after you're after. done removing everything. Okay. So okay. that way you're not like becoming so obsessive right. Right. I got you. about trying to clean it all up. What, what, what I notice when you do it, obviously you're a pro, so when you do it, you don't even have this. You just go through and it's like done. Like, but as a beginner, I'm gonna have these little leftovers, right? Y so yes. don't focus on that and as a beginner. The whole purpose of the electric file is giving you the confidence to get most of the color right. off. Right. Because again, I think a lot of beginners, what they struggle with is like, oh my gosh, this is gonna take me 20, 25 minutes right. to remove. Or say someone comes into your salon, you're a beginner in this new salon. They come in and you're like, what are you wearing? And they're like, oh, I'm wearing this certain brand that soaks off really easy. But then you go to soak it off and you take off the wraps it doesn't and soak nothing up. budges. Right, right. You're like, what do you do? You have to have the skills to try to get most of that product off, yeah. right? And again, I'm showing you on the very minimum Right. But you notice right. that it's not like no, it's still it's still it still will remove it. So go ahead and fire it back on. Okay, keep it at four. Just keep it at four. And again, I'm working at a very gentle speed because I'm trying to teach him how to work. So you see, you see how you're holding my hand. Yeah. I want you to pull away my skin. Gotcha. Okay, there you like go. That. Yeah. And then you can kind of lightly feather it away, just to get around that area right there. Right. So you're you're. I don't want you to go over this way. Okay. I want you to tickle away that corner. Okay. And then I want you to tickle away that corner. And then I want you to come in this direction and remove it this way. Okay. One direction. Okay, I got you. Okay. So first the corner. Just to get there, that corner. And, and then, then yeah, tickle. because you, you don't need to touch this area. This, this area is done. Okay. Just come around. Yeah. Don't be afraid. You just just use that feathering that feathering motion I, I taught you. You're not even touching it. You're not touching it. Touch it. But not just, not going that feathering motion I taught you. You're not touching it. <laughs> I feel like I'm touching it now. You're just barely touching it. I know because I don't want to. There you go. Now come in one direction and remove it all. Good. Don't be afraid to touch I it. I haven't even got through the color. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. Good. Start to angle it down. Yeah. Good. Perfect. 
There you go, starting to come off. Okay, that's off. Okay, now I want you to focus. Not that top part. Not that way. Use the bottom of your barrel. Okay. No, no, no. Use the bottom of your barrel. Oh, to get that to, edge. To get that edge. Okay. Use the bottom of it. Right here? Yep, to tickle it off. Pull it back. There you go. Good. Get in there. What are you afraid of? Get in there. Good, good. Yes. There? Good. What about the tip there? Don't worry about, don't worry about the tip. Away. I'm going to make this easy for Habib. I'm going to turn this down to 2000 RPMs. Okay. So it's really slow. Okay. We're going to fire this back on and then I want you to get around my cuticle area. Just clean it up. Just get in there. Get in there. Yeah, really low speed all the way around. All the way around. Keep going. Just lightly feather. Okay, keep going around. You're done with that. You keep going in the same area. Work around. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Okay. Got most of it. it. Most of it is off. Okay. Turn it off. Switch it to the diamond bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fire that on. We're gonna go 3,000 RPMs. Okay. Now I want you to tickle off the rest of that shine. Just do it through, like I'm now, prepping. You see all of the color? Yeah. Tickle the rest of the color off. Don't dig. Take your time as you're going around. Get in there. On the color only. This thing is so gentle. Good. You got most of it off, good. Keep going all the way around. All the way. Get all that color Down off. here. All of it. You can push up to the skin to get it off if you want to. Oh, wow. Okay. More in here? Do you see color? Here. Yeah, I do. We'll wipe it off. Let me wipe it for you real fast. Still a little color, right? Yeah, there's a little bit of color inside there. And, and again, I'm, I'm really trying to, you got a little bit of color trying to get to be comfortable with the machine. Right. Go ahead, get in there. Right. Yeah. See, most of it's off. So got just a little bit of color left. Nothing much. Right here? Yeah. yeah I can see it. It's awesome. Is it all coming off? I think so. Good. Wanna check it? Uh, yeah. So as you can see, I have a little bit of, there's, Habib has very, very small amounts of residue. He has a little residue right here, a little residue right here, all that. But at this point, go ahead and fire this off. Go ahead and get your buffer. Okay. Yeah. Within time, he'll really learn how to remove <coughs> everything quite well. Well, that's just my, it's literally my, I mean, I don't, I don't use. No, you don't use it. I've done it Is with. Is there a buffer inside there? And just kind of sponge the surface to clean it. Get in there and just get it all out. There you go. Yeah, so at this point right here, you can see that most of it has, see that? Yeah. You can see the base residue. Oh and yeah. See all that right there? That's all base, base. residue. Right. So most of it, come down this yeah. corner. Get in there. Get in there. Good. Yeah, it's really, really good. Can I hit that? Like, yeah, just go ahead. Barely? Just lightly get, yeah. So, like, that's the thing is, uh, like, a, a medium file, you're going to be able to tickle it out. He's being very gentle. Super gentle. Yeah, and that's the thing is trying to give the confidence to a lot of techs to be really thorough in their technique, um, not to be aggressive. Um, in the beginning, do not focus on speed. Focus 
on technique. Yeah, like that's all, like this took me like, you know, obviously it took me a little bit of time, but it takes practice. But look at how training. clean right, it is. Right. All the colors off. There's no red, basically. There's no, like, it, it's very comfortable. I don't have, you have a little bit a little of bit. residue. A little bit you'll, you'll learn to get close. Yeah. Uh, to the edges, but look look at how like you can see there's that little bit of base layer there still it's You know what I mean like uh, For for me as an instructor and trying to show him I want to give him confidence so that he knows how to get the majority of the product off the right, nail right um, At this point, you know, it's really a matter of you know him using maybe a hand file or or just taking a little bit more time to lightly feather off that color you could switch out to a fine you see the fine um safety bit yeah a fine safety bit we'll use the fine one now and then he can lightly tickle it right we'll just go at a really like low speed we'll go 2000 rpms you can get in there pull the skin away and get in there and tickle it away you'll notice how easy it comes oh up oh my god see that oh my god so now be, yeah get in there Oh my God. Don't worry about touching the skin. Just get in there and touch that paint. You see that little paint in the back? Good. A little bit on your cuticle. Yeah. Let me get this. Yeah, the, 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 the fine one is nice because you can get in there and you can do a little bit of deep. Yeah, see that? It's not gonna get caught up. It's nice to have both bits, but you see how you get all the residue out? Yeah. Just smooth it out? Yeah, just use the buffer to smooth it out. My, dude, my nail feels great. Yeah. Um, there's no, yeah, there's no chunks <laughs> from my finger. It's good, it's really, really good. So you can see, I mean, he still has a little bit of base residue, like maybe through here. He has some base residue through here, but everything is removed and ready for reapplication. Yeah, there's no divots, there's no, no. nothing, and I can see. I can see some of the base left yeah. over oh, yeah, because yeah. you're not going super deep. But that's no. that's what we want. We want you to be able to to do that. You know, all the clients I do uh, with gel polish. Uh, one thing you'll notice when you master this incredible machine is that your customers' natural nails will grow harder and stronger. Yeah. Because there's no solvent that's breaking them down and making them soft. Right. This episode with prep and gel polish removal was eye-opening for me. We have the machine. We have the machine and setting it at 2000, how gentle. Dude, it's so gentle. It for, blows me away. For anyone who's looking, to get into learning how to use electric file. I always say, come through our one week course. Yep. By the time you leave one week, oh. you're going to be a machine. 100%. We will teach you how to be a wizard There's no with question. the machine. Yep, 100%. Um, but again, if, if you can't come out, then you need something that you're going to be able to depend on that's gonna be able to help you get to that master level and this machine will get you there. And if you're already a frigging, an absolute badass with an electric file. Oh, dude, this next is level. this is next level. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Pro Teach the Beginner. Um, super excited to launch the new YN E file. Yes. You'll be able to get it tonight um, at midnight. It's going to launch because this video launches on Friday at a special price as well. Um, Greg, thank you, bro, for. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you next time. Uh...